For this lesson on how to use the new input system for Unity, we're going to be going over how to create and set up an input action asset. But before we get started, you might want to look into becoming a member on our website. We are currently asking for only $3 a month or $30 a year to gain exclusive access to our member-only content, such as the code for many of our tutorials. And members will also gain free or discounted access to many of the products on our asset store. This is really an amazing deal worth over $50 in immediate savings on our products alone. And so sign up today as the price of $3 a month is bound to go up in the near future. And if you sign up today, you'll be locked in at $3 a month, which will give you additional savings as we publish new assets in the future. Now let's get on with the lesson. All right, so once you have the new input system installed in Unity, you should be able to create new input action assets by right clicking anywhere in your project window, then going up to create and down at the bottom, select input actions. You can then give this asset a name, maybe something like player input. And once you have this asset created, you can double click on it, which will open up the input actions editor. Here you can create your action maps, your actions, and your key bindings. To create an action map, all you have to do is click the plus button next to action maps, and then you can give it a name. So maybe this one could be called first person controller. Now action maps are for each controller that you might have in a game. So you could have your first person controller. You could then also have a car controller in case your player decides to get into a car. And then maybe you have a controller for getting into a plane. Once you have your action maps created, you can then add different actions and key bindings to each action map. So for this first person controller, we can take this basic action, rename it to something like jump, and then we can set the key binding to the space bar. Setting a key binding is fairly easy as Unity provides this drop down menu with a list of all the available devices and inputs. So I'm gonna select keyboard, then by location of key using US layout, and we'll select the space bar. Now there's other available options for key bindings other than just a single button press. So I'm going to delete this key binding. I'll then right click on our move action. And as you can see, there's add binding, which is for a single button press like our space bar. There's add 1D vector composites, which is for when you can have a positive and negative value from your input, such as a joystick. And then there's add 2D vector composite, which is for when there's four directions, such as WASD. And then finally, we have two other options, which you don't really need to worry about right now but those are add button with one modifier composite and add button with two modifiers composite. So for this one, I'm gonna select add 2D vector composite, which gives you four different options for key bindings, up, down, left, and right. So I'm gonna select each one and set the binding path to W, S, A, and D. And that's the basic steps for creating an input action asset. And the last thing that I'll say is that you need to remember to save your asset whenever you make a change. This is done by pressing the Save Asset button or selecting Auto Save. Auto Save is good because you'll never forget to save your changes, but it can also be a bit annoying when you have to make lots of changes because after each change, Unity has to process that change, which might take a few seconds and give you a loading bar. Hey, thank you so much for watching to the end of this video. If you found this video to be helpful, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you can be up to date with all our latest videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.